Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Lil Gator Game. Last time we left off, we were hanging out over here, and there were a bunch of people to talk to, because we've gathered a lot of people at the playground now. Um, one thing someone did mention, uh, I never actually found the, like, little snorkel for the, uh, for the shark. Right? So, maybe we should go and try and find that? Because, yeah, I mean, that's still hanging out over here somewhere. Wait, wait, what are you doing back at your house? I just saw you at the playground, you doofus. What are you doing? Are you- okay, whatever. Let's not- let's not worry about that. But yeah, the shark. They were somewhere. I don't remember exactly where, but they were somewhere. Did I even talk to you? Maybe someone else will appreciate my art. Oh, okay, apparently I did. Uh, traversing on this trampoline is nuts. You bounce so high and so frequently. I gotta find out where the shark was again. There you are, there you are. Yeah, so I never found your snorkel, did I? Yeah, yeah, no, no, we never finished yours. Traveler, I seem to have misplaced an important item. It's sort of spiky and transparent and weird looking. Uh, I had just taken a breather, as you would say, a swim, and I noticed its absence. Please find it for me. Okay, so it's gotta be somewhere in the water, yeah? Gotta be somewhere along the water here. Where? I do not know. But, uh... It's gotta be somewhere. Hmm. Let's see here. I would assume it would be somewhere, like, right around here. Maybe it went down there? Ooh. It might have went down there. Okay. Well, I mean, we gotta search. We gotta search here, so... Maybe he fell down here? Aha! There it is! Teeth! It's some sort of weird spiky thing? Maybe someone lost this. Okay, okay, yeah, I, I forgot. I was sitting here thinking it was a snorkel because you said transparent, but I totally glossed over the fact that it's spiky. <laughs> you lost your teeth. Okay. Interesting. Well then. Hello. Found this weird spiky thing, is this it? That's it, my retainer! My dad was always telling me not to lose it when I lost- Oh, it's a retainer, of course. Yeah, okay. When I lose it and I lost it and- eh, Thank you, Traveler. The magic in this item will help me- help sustain my life force? Yeah, that works. Great! You really saved my scales, thanks! New friend in town, Becca! Yay! Thank you, Becca. I helped you find your retainer. God, I do not miss the days of a retainer. Um, so, I have also gotten a little bit of assistance uh, on this, possibly. The thing down here with the character that's like, you need to, to, to jump across the water. Um, I think I was doing it wrong. Uh, I think I am supposed to actually land on the water with my shield out. So, we're gonna try that. And I press... So you have to jump right after you hit the water. Oh, you have to be going fast, though. Like that. Whoa, so cool. That was what I needed to do. I was taking the shield off before because it specifically said I needed to jump, so... I thought this was it. Like this kind of jumping off the water you do like this. Like that. I thought that was what it meant, but no. We did it. There you go. You did it! I can't believe you did it! I'm gonna go tell everyone at the playground I saw someone really skip on the water. See you there! There we go. And we got an inner tube. Okay, okay, yeah, I did- I did get some assistance from, uh, from someone that I know that, uh, has- has completed this. And, uh, yeah, there we go. This'll make skipping on the water even easier. Boom. Boom. There we go, look at me go! Beautiful. Now we can- now we can go super, super fast across the water. Alrighty. Well, that- that's- that's taken care of now, so let's go ahead and get over here on Dragon Roost Island and see what we can grab. Oh, it's you again! Hi. Hello again, nice to see you. If you want me to- If you want me to throw you up high, just stand on my blowhole again. I can do that. Alrighty, well I'm glad we, uh, I'm glad we figured that out. I was just being a dummy and doing it wrong. Let's get our pretty princess wand out. And slay some things. With the power of magic. And pink. Pink is a very powerful color, don't you know? Alrighty, get me up here. Got a graveler and a bunch of pots to take out. That is nice. Let's get me up here. I do have my... Whoops. I, I meant to put my shuriken back on. 
Uh, there we go. Yeah, I don't, I don't need this balloon. Balloon can go bye-bye. I need the camera, though. That's for my thumbnails. There we are. And take that out. God, the shurikens are so nice. I love them. Give me that confetti, please. Thank you. Alrighty. Well, that looks like it's mostly everything up here. We have a pot or two over here to get to grab, but... I can't believe there's an achievement for getting all of this stuff. That's crazy. There's so much. I feel like I would miss one, like, in one spot and just be boned forever because I just happened to miss that one. I do feel like I'm getting pretty far along with, uh, the friends, though. I've been to a lot of the, uh, the world at this point. And I'll probably wait until I feel like I've gotten just about everyone to talk to everyone at the, uh, place. So I don't have to, like, keep re-going to areas and talking to new characters, basically. Feels like it'd be best to just do it once I have pretty- basically all of them. So, yeah. There we go. Let's just continue walking around, see if we can find anyone new hanging out anywhere. Yeah, you I got down. You're my friend now. There's gotta be some more characters down here somewhere. Ooh, look at all this. Hello. Okay, a bunch of enemies to defeat. Got it. I am, uh, I do need more, uh, confetti. You know, our supplies are getting a little bit low. So... I gotta, gotta refuel that a little bit. Anything over here? No? Yeah, I guess I haven't really been on this side of the island that much. So, let's climb. What do we got? Maybe I go higher up? I could get like a bird's eye view of everything as well. Evidently I have been over here. Hi? Hello? I guess they're gone. Yeah, you're, you're where the mole was, right? Interesting. Alright, well, let's uh, continue climbing up here. And see what we can do. If I get a big bird's eye view of everything, I might be able to see some characters that I haven't actually interacted with. I feel like in like the beginning area, I probably missed some stuff, yeah? Like some of the beginning areas? Because I probably just ran right past it. Hello, if I talk to you. Guess I'll need to find some other priceless heirlooms to fret over. You wouldn't happen to know a priceless heirloom guy, would you? Yeah, I've already I've already spoken to you. It's starting to reach the point where we've interacted with so many characters at this point that it is hard to keep track of all of them. Uh Yeah. I mean we've we've covered a lot of the islands. I did take out a lot of the uh little cardboard things actually. Have we seen this memory? It took me forever to find her. Oh yeah, I remember being over here. Okay, nothing really going on down there. Yeah, I mean, we've we've covered a lot of ground, I must say. There's some stuff still really, really high up over here. I'm guessing at the top of the mountain is where we're gonna find uh, the person that sells more of uh, the, the bracelets, which I do need, so. Why don't we just work on climbing to the top of the mountain here? Of course, if I already climbed the tallest mountain to get more bracelets, do I really need the bracelets anymore? These are questions. Hmm. You're up there. I mean, at least we can get a bunch of stuff, because there's a ton of pots and everything up here. So, let's just grab all of these. Boom. Boom. Kablooey. Okay, there we go, we're good. <clears throat> so... There you are! Oh my god, I was totally right. You are all the way up at the top of the tallest mountain. I thought you would be up here, you little jerk. Alright. Give me your stuff. Let's, uh, destroy these- these little Pokemon first. A few more. Ooh, there's a treasure chest down there. Wait, one second. I know I just made all that progress getting up the mountain, but... That is a treasure chest. I need that. Um, we might need a little bit of assistance to, uh, get back up that high. Uh, alrighty. Balloon it is. Um, RB. Let's go. Isn't this thrilling? Or, oh wait, no, I need to, I need to jump and then do it. That'll get me high enough. 
Get me up there. There we go. Alrighty. This will make traversing the mountain a little bit easier here. Beautiful. Just gotta keep an eye on my stamina. Wonderful. Ooh! Hi. Have we done this before? I think I have. On a quest to the top of the mountain, the diabolical witch switched gravity. We had to turn upside down or else we'd fall into the sky. And I think about it, she probably just made that up on the spot. That's why she's the best. Oh. <laughs> That's so adorable. My heart can't take it. Okay. Huh. Oh, I screwed it up. Okay, you know what? Back up there. This wasn't even the tallest mountain. Wasn't even the tallest mountain. Okay, let's... Huh. Get over there. Hey, you! Eh. <laughs> no, 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 no. How do I get that height? Maybe if I... From up here... I... Woo! Okay. From up here, I balloon. I jump and balloon, and then I glide across once I'm out of stamina. Maybe? Or I can get on top of the tree, then balloon. That would- that- mm, that's an idea, I think. So... Let's get up there. The only problem is I do need stamina to balloon. Gosh, getting up here when we, you know, don't really super have the means to. Uh-huh. Yee, there we go. Hi. Yadlehihu. Atop this peak, your soul will taste what it truly craves. Bracelets where you least expect. It is I, the bracelet shop. Would you like to buy one of my beauties? Only 500. Yes. Hoo-hoo, wonderful. Another beauty joins your collection. I got another bracelet. Now I can climb for even longer. Is it just me or do these things really work? Only I could stay, but greater heights call out to me. Goodbye. Where is taller than this? Oh my god, I, I feel like we're so high up. Have I interacted with that character down there? Excuse me? Really? Really? Are we serious right now? Can I even... Can I even... I... I guess so. Huh. Wow, we are... we are flying. Uh, let's get like right here. Climb up. Yeah, we have we have two now. Beautiful. I mean, I guess I can make it all the way over here. Yeah. I think I got this. Oh my god. Yeah 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 yeah. And climb 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 climb. Yay! I did it. Was it worth it? Possibly not. But I did it. Okay. More pots. Well, this is a pretty high mountain. Maybe this is where we can get another bracelet? I like how the colors of the little stamina wheels actually pertain to what color bracelet we got. That's a cute detail. Even greater heights is where you said you went. So, hmm. If you're not here, I don't know where you'd be. But we do have to get back over there because there was a bunch of other stuff. Okay, I was like, wait, what's going on over here? It's very pink, but it's just those two again. Yeah, we're running out of, like, before it was, you know, I was immediately running into new things to do constantly. But now we're at a little bit more of the, I actually have to explore to find things phase, because I've went through things in a bit of a haphazard manner. Of course, we do know where Avery is. And here's Jill. Here's Jill. We can do Jill's. You're at the big tree. Hi, Jill. What's up? Great timing, Scales. I want you- I want you to meet my friends from St. Hogarth. St. Hogarth? That's the prep school you're studying for, right? The very same. Hi, I'm Suzanne, fearless leader of the Paragons of St. Hogarth. This is Jean and Anton. We're a small but motivated study group, always looking for new members. Speaking of, Jill, maybe you and your friend would like to join us for independent projects? Oh, um, I don't know if that would, uh, appeal to Quasimofo's interests, necessarily. What independent projects? Some kind of game? I can play? It's exactly like a game. We individually conduct research studies, then unite to share our findings. I'm scouring the forest for evidence of Paleolithic tool usage. I'm researching old bartering methods and the establishment of uniform currency. I catalog beetles. Those don't sound like games at all. Sounds like you invented schoolwork to do. Alone. Pretty much. Assigned fall reading is no challenge at all for the Paragons. Invention is the only path to enrichment. 
Plus it's fun. And extra credit. But all this work and our break is only so long. Right, you are, Quasimofo. We're wasting valuable daylight. Time to move out and get started. Paragons, perambulate! Working on the catchphrase. Jeez, what a drag. A sunny day in the park and they're gonna waste it on imaginary work? Yeah, they're cracking down hard, huh? Probably because they don't have a super cool friend with a super fun game in progress. Ready to head to the playground? Scales. I want to help you win your sister over, really, but if St. Hogarth is this competitive, I need to step up my game. I need to come up with an independent project, first of all, and I'm not even sure where to start. What? But it's fall break. There's no time for a million pro- There's time for a million projects later. We should be having fun. Sorry, Quasimofo. I guess I have to choose adult stuff this time. Huh. See you. Oh. What's going on here? Jill was so excited about prep school until her friends started talking about all that science stuff. Why are they working when they should be having fun? It's like they don't even know how. That's it. Jill's friends don't know how to have fun. If I can convince them to join the game, they won't have time for imaginary homework, and Jill won't have to work so hard. I should try doing these projects with them to gain their trust. I may even have to learn something. But it'll all be worth it to save my friend. All right, quest start. Distract the prep kids. Alrighty, um, I'm gonna swap around my equipment actually, because I'm tired of this bucket on my head. Uh, we haven't actually got a new hat in a bit, so let's return to the slime cap. Um, and I want the Martin shield, because it's beautiful. Alrighty, there we go. We're, we're absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, so this is the area I just haven't been to that much, so. Hey, Suzanne. Hey again, Quasimofo. Have you decided to rally with the Paragons? Sure, yeah, I'm, uh, thinking about it. Wanted to see what kind of project you were doing. Excellent. I'd be happy to introduce you to the thrilling world of rock engineering. Rock engineering is all about building tools and systems for safe and efficient excavation. Uh-huh. To do that, it's important to understand how strength, size, and temperature affect rock fracture during mining. Uh-huh. Single calculation error could cause a massive landslide or cave-in and devastate the lives of- I, I was- I was making a joke that I was falling asleep while listening to Suzanne, but I guess I should do the sleepy talk for Quasi. Devastate the lives of- Wait a second. Mining? Rocks? Tools? Strength? You're just like a blacksmith! It is exactly like a blacksmith, or anything else that keeps you this excited about it. That's great! My friends and I are building a fantasy town at the playground. You should come be our blacksmith! Sounds admissible as community service. I would be honored. Fortunately, I'm still in the middle of my study. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to dig up a Paleolithic artifact around here. I can find an artifact for you. That's just the kind of thing heroes do. Is that so? Hmm, in that case, I have devised a brilliant plan. Oh, noble hero, heed the plea of this adroit metal rite. I seek an enchanted mineral on a faraway coastline. You need a... Rock from the beach? Yep, pretty much any beach rock. As long as it's overflowing with magical power! Bring a nice sparkly beach rock back here and together we will forge something that will blow you away. Can do! Find the beach ore, the Earth's bounty. Alrighty, let's do it. I will say though, I do like my, my, my bouncy shield. That thing was quite nice, the trampoline. La la la, no one can see me. Yeah, I've already talked to you. Okay, so... And then here's where the where the village hidden in the leaves was. They're still over here, actually. It's funny that they're at multiple places like that. Say there's a bunch of these to still take out. Hello. All of you die. Give me all your stoof. Uh-huh. How are you all here if you're at the playground right now as well? You know? They get they must be shadow clones. That must be the answer. Alright, beach ore. I'm here. Wow, that was fast. I got a beach rock. I mean, enchanted ore. Suzanne can smith this into something cool. Maybe it'll be a magic sword or an amulet. Can't wait to see. Alrighty. Well then. Now we just gotta get back up there. Is there anything else going on here? Don't see any other characters or anything, although there is a pirate ship. And some oars. Oh, hello. Catch me! Uh-huh. I got you. Oh. Okay, so we just gotta get back over there. So let's let's go. You do just pick up crazy speed with this thing. It's kinda nuts. We whoop. Hit a wall. You gotta you gotta not hit the walls. That's the key. I think I remember examining that. Yeah, yeah, okay. We're over here by um whale friend. Okay. And then there... Yeah, there was another character over here. Alright, well, let's go hit up the tree. 
And yeah, you. Alrighty. Uh, hello, Suzanne. I got your thing. I got the ore. Great. The forge. Oh, damn it! I always a stupid A button. Wow. What is it? A good rock? It looks like basalt. Sea floor basalt with veins of quartz. Basalt's perfect because it's easier to break down than granite, but heavier and more solid than pumice. All of basalt also is used for basalt columns, which is in a ton of video games. Columnar jointing, which I learned from YouTuber Keith Ballard. Not to mention the fault lines are superb. Should fracture into, into the shape we all want on its own. Did you know that right around the time Paleolithic animals evolved to walk upright, they would... Alright, yes, it's a good rock. <laughs> Sorry, yes, it is a really good rock, and it has cool lines, which of course means it is very magic. Now, all we have to do is uh, heat it up and apply pressure so that it fractures. Pressure? Should I sit on it? I was thinking you hit it a bunch, you know, like a blacksmith. Oh, violence! I can do violence! Have at it, hero! Hone your tool of violence into one of creation! Quack, quack, quack! Just like that! Don't let up! You will die! Hold fast and true! I will hit you with so much magic! Hero, do you feel the fire of creation igniting your heart? Yes, I do. Do you feel the Earth's power surging through your bones? This is getting very colorful and crazy. Brace yourself! One final touch should stabilize it! I'm going in! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Almost... there! Ha! <gasps> we... we did it. We did it. The transformation is complete. From ash and sweat, we have made our mark upon the world. What is it? What is it? A magic sword? Oh, what was it? A laser wand? A power ring? A key to the underworld? Better than all that by a landslide. This is a historical landmark! Have a look for yourself! You've earned this noble tool. All oh, beautiful. Paleolithic tool. It's a rock! Attached to a stick with a piece of string and some lines on it, I guess. Is this it? Don't you see, Quasimofo? This isn't just a rock and a stick, it's transformative. In the footsteps of the engineers of old, we forged the foremother of all tools from nothing but the Earth's bounty. It must be millennia, even hundreds of millennia by now, since our two very distinct lineages united under this exact goal. Unless you count the Neolithic and Paleolithic periods as indistinct, in which case... Ah, uh, no more lore, please, please. Ah, uh, suit yourself. Well, that wraps up my project for the day. I'll head to the playground as soon as the other paragons are finished. Are you sure you don't want to hang about and hear all about? Nope, thanks for the rocks, Ethan. Bye! I like how you're smashing two rocks together. Alright, uh... Let's talk to... This is Gene, yeah? Hi, Anton. Nope, this is Anton. Hey. So you're like, the beetle guy? Just a normal guy for now. Still waiting on the tragic surgical mishap that will transform me into the beetle guy. Huh? Never mind. <laughs> Do you need something? Yeah! I'm getting people together for a game and there's a Legend of Hero character you'd be perfect for. Beetle-related character, I assume. Yeah! They love beetles and they talk funny and sell you rare stuff. It'll be fun! Oh! Thank you! It's beetle! Oh, you could be beetle, yes. I'll pass. Oh. Got my own rare beetles to find. Thank you. Yeah, you wouldn't be a very good beetle. Oh, that's okay. You want to help with that instead? Really? Yeah, I'm the best at helping. I'll find that beetle so fast you'll be done in no time. I'm in no rush. But another pair of eyes couldn't hurt. Take a look at this. Oh, that one! I've seen that one in science books. It's a Hercules beetle. They're native to this forest, but not common. Are they really that big? Only if they eat their vegetables. They're slow and clumsy compared to other beetles, so about as fast as us. You have to surprise it. Gotcha! They eat rotting wood and fruit. They usually look around fallen trees. Gotcha, gotcha! Also, listen for a sandpaper sound they make. They stridulate their abdomen against their elethra to... Gotcha, 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 gotcha! I have all the beetle knowledge in my brain. I'm a beetle finding machine. No more beetle facts required. Right, well... Take this in case you see one. I got the bug net! Perfect for capturing giant evil beetles! Good or evil. I'll take whatever you can I'll take whatever you can find. Find a Hercules beetle. We need to find a dead tree. Um... And I gotta catch it with this. Specifically, dead tree, huh? Hello? Tactical roll! I told you to- I told you to warn me before you do that! <laughs> Alrighty. So, dead tree, huh? Where can I find a dead tree? Oh, there looks like there's some stuff happening over here. Okay, I'm glad we found more stuff... to do. They're storming the falls! Thank goodness help has arrived! A bunch of Vicky slimes are trying to climb up the waterfall. 
The big tree is just this, is just up the stream. We have to hold them off or they'll goo it all up. Gross, I like my trees goo free. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get these goobers gone. Take out as many as you can and I'll cover your flank. Aya, stay back, gooey fiends. Boom. Eh. Eh, 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 eh. Well, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Um, well, I gotta get back up there now, don't I? Oh, hey, a pot. See, intended. Totally, totally meant to do that. Okay, so let's uh, de goo this. Uh huh. Yeah. And. Okay, those were just a little bit of bits there. And die. Is that all of them? Does not appear to be all of them. Because you're not reacting at all. Do I also need to get rid of these? This way to Great Oak, the largest tree on the island. Hope you brought a camera. Please keep to the viewing structures, no climbing. Okay, are they all gone? Those big roots are stronger than you, uh, than they look. You can jump on them to get a better position. Don't let a single slime get by. Wait, what? There's no slimes left. Oh, oh, wait, yeah, there is. There's two right there. Okay, I was standing at the area that they were. You're saying I can stand on these? Ah, yes. Uh-huh. There we go. Beautiful. Now that's all of them, yeah? Big roots are strong. Nope. Apparently not. Where's some more? Uh. Okay, this time I. Oh my god, there was one right in front of me that I was somehow looking past? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was looking right past it, possibly. Yeah. Oh my god. Victory is ours! That was amazing! He must be the hero of legend! I am, what gave it away? Oh, Tom told me to look out for a fidgety alligator and that would be the hero. Um, I mean, it was your skills with the sword, of course! No ordinary soldier could have done it alone! <laughs> we should be cel we should celebrate our victory back to the playground. Dang, her shield must be heavy. Ooh, I like that shield. Give me the tower shield. So strong, but so heavy! Yes! Ooh, and we- ooh, we actually slide on our tummy on it. Ooh, that's neat. Alright, so I need a dead tree to find this beetle. Still. I don't know exactly know where it's going to be. I would like to find it before the end of this episode, so I don't forget. Um, but... I'm not seeing a dead tree anywhere, really. I've seen some dead trees... in places, but I don't remember where. Last one down, eat socks for breakfast! Last one down, does the dishes tonight. Uh, is this anything? I want to say I talked to the- yeah, yeah, I remember talking to you dorks. Okay. Yeah, I like how we slide on our tummy on this. It's pretty cool. Might help us pick up speed faster, even. Got that. Eh. Eh? There we go. Got it. So where's my, uh, where's my dead tree? Dead tree. Dead tree. Dead tree? Dead tree. <gasps> there it is. Hey, you. Hey, you. <gasps> there it is. A Hercules beetle. I'll have to move as little as possible so I don't scare it off. Just barely tip-tap in the direction as softly as possible. Oh, I tripped! My cover's blown! Oh, for a second I thought this was about to be the minigame from, uh, Quick Before It Gets Away from Final Fantasy IX. Uh-huh, where, where exactly did it go? Oh god, I saw it flying over here, but then I lost it. Uh-oh. Uh... Oh wait, there it is. Oh, there it is. Hey, you! Come here. Go, 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 go! Catch it, catch it, catch it! Eh. Where'd you go? Up? Did you go up? I think you went up. I think? Oh my god, where are you? There you are. Come here, you! I doubt I can actually, like, catch you doing this. I'm so close, it's on the tip of my net! I'm just gonna lead it straight to you, aren't I? That's- that's exactly where it's going. I can't actually catch it. I think it rubber bands if I get too close. Gotcha. Yay! Hey! You got it! Woo! Sure did. 
Each of the assist quasi mofo. Guess if stealth fails, sprinting and flailing can be okay too. Sprinting and flailing is all I do! Hey, is your shirt a cape now? Oh yeah, it's my costume. I'd like to join your game if that's okay, it's just... I'm more than my hobby. I like beetles, but I don't want to be the weird beetle guy. I thought I could be a hunter or something. You can totally be a hunter! Even a monster hunter if you want! Yeah, go take out a Rathalos! Sure. And if there are too many people around, I can go hunt in the wilderness for a while. Yeah! Hunt some wilderness monsters! Or some ground beetles by the creek. Yeah! Wait! Might have to borrow Suzanne's shovel. Wait, but... You wouldn't want to scare some bugs out of the mud for me, would you? Haha, <laughs> okay, happy hunting, bye! Alright, so we only got one more character to talk to, and uh, I think we'll take care of that next time. And they are up here, so... Yeah, alrighty. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Little Gator Game, and I'll see you next time for some more.